Thunder Island by Jay Ferguson, featuring some uh, very nice slide guitar by Joe Walsh. Uh, we'll kick it off with this intro chord section here, and this will also be the chorus progression. Um, there's just a, a slight differences, like in the, in the beginning here, uh, in the intro, there's just kind of a little uh, guitar riff that happens there in the rest section. And in the chorus, at the last progression, something changes a little bit. But other than that, this is pretty much the same progression you use for the chorus. And uh, it's a you know, really fun exercise and uh, timing and changing between the C chord and the F chord here. Okay, so first of all, we're going to hit the C chord. And then we're going to quickly go to the F chord and hit that three times. So it'd be something like... Okay, so just one C, three Fs. All right. Okay, it's about the tempo you want it. Okay, and then we get to uh, the end of the measure there, and we're going to do a C to an F, and that'll finish the measure, but then once the next measure starts, we'll hit the F one more time. So essentially, we'll just be doing a C, F, F. Okay, like I said, some interesting timing here on the strums. And then we repeat that again, the C once, and then two Fs. Okay. And then we finish it all with the last measure. We do three C strums. All right, and then we just finish on a, a G chord. And with this G chord, you want to add that... Uh, third fret on the B as well, because you want that extra D note in there. Okay. All right, so I'm going to try it all slowly here. Okay, I'll try to show you the strumming here. Keep practicing that and then get it up to tempo. All right. And like I said in the intro here, once we get to that kind of rest part where that uh, fourth measure is just kind of holding that G chord, there's a little bit of a riff that comes in and it's just in the intro. Uh, basically, we just come up to seven on the G and then hit six on the B. Hit that 7G again, once more, and then slide it out. Okay, so just be something like... Just a quick little riff that they throw in the intro there. All right, and then, uh, of course, we'll be getting into the chorus progression right after the intro. And the uh, same deal, you know. All right, uh, but on the very last progression of it, we get all, through all that again, and then we add uh, in the recording through these really high voiced chords, and it would be a D and an A, and we just play it really high, just like the uh, uh, 11G 1010 on the B and E, and we just hit that D voicing three times. Okay. And then just switch over here. We go 9G 10B 9E just to make that A voicing. Okay. But if you wanted to, you could just straight up do a, a normal D and A chord uh, to just to make it a little easier for your... Okay, verse pattern here. Uh, we're going to jump uh, to a new chord here, B flat. So just one A three 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 on the D G B, one measure's worth. And you can strum this however you like, keep it loose or whatever. In the song, they're kind of doing it more like a subtle kind of reggae strum. Uh, so you could do that if you like. I like to just kind of keep it kind of loose and free. As long as you strum it once, you're good. Uh, next measure, F. 
and the C. And the C we'll do for two measures. Okay, back to the B flat. Now a D minor. Back to the C. Just one measure with this C. Because here we're going to wrap it up by doing a uh, one, two, one, two on a G chord. And then finish with just a single A chord. Okay, so try that all together. second part of the verse kind of starts the same way. We do our B flat for measure. F. Now we just do the C once, uh, one measure. Okay, and now we split a measure by doing an A to G. Okay, and then that would lead us into the chorus. So this uh, last half of the verse. like that. All right, and uh, after we do the chorus a time or two again and the uh, verses, and then we'll get to this slide solo section. All right, we come up to uh, 13 on the B and E and pick between those a couple times. Okay, then we go to our eights on the B and E. Okay, eight to six on the B. Four to five on the B. It'd be something like. The last half of this first section here. Come up to 12 on the G. Okay, and then we do a uh, little technique here. We do 10 on the E, and then we slide 12 to 10 on the B, and just repeat that. Okay, so. Okay, one more time. go 10 to 8. Okay, this would be something like. Alright, next section. Okay, we're going to come up to 10s on the D and the G. Kind of do that same deal. 10, D, G, D, G, D. Okay, and then we go to 5s on the D and G. And we just go up to 5, D. Uh, hit the G5, and then repeat that. Okay, so. Alright, and now we slide all the way up to 15s on the B and E. Just pick between those. Okay, and just slide up to the 15B three times as we're picking through them. Okay, and then we'll go 15 down to 8. Okay, so last section of the slide solo. Alright, we come up to uh, 13 on the B and E and pick between those a couple times. Okay, then we go to our 8s on the B and E. Okay, 8 to 6 on the B, 4 to 5 on the B, okay, it'd be something like, okay, and then we finish this half by uh, coming up to 15s, okay, so it's like we took the first half of the first part and the second half of the second part and we just combined them to make this third part, okay, so come up to the 15s on the B and E. Okay, and then we do 12, 10, 12, 10 on the E. Okay, and then we do 10 to 12 on the B.
Okay, and once we get to the verse after the solos there, uh, it's kind of a dynamic shift. And basically, we just have to make sure that we just do one strum per chord and just rest, you know, after we strum it. So it just be, just let it ring. All right, and at the very end, while the chorus is going, uh, we get some uh, slide solos that just kind of uh, come in and out. Um, they're kind of fun little bits we can play here. Uh, the first little bit, it's uh, we go 10 to 12 on the B, hit the 12 E. Okay, then we do 12, 10, 8 on the B. Just a quick little slide riffs that come in there. All right, next one, we go 10, 12 on the B, 10 on the E to 12B, 10E, 12B. Okay, then we do 12, 10 on the E, 8B. All right, next one, and this is about where the song starts fading out, so... Uh, probably be the last one. Uh, we just slide up to 15s on the B and E. Slide it to 13. E. And then 10B to 12. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tabletry books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.